Let's say it really loud. Are you ready? Hello, everybody. Can you wave and say hello, everybody? Hello, everybody. Can you say it? Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us for another Monday fun day. Well done to Marcus for winning the drawing competition and well done to everybody who entered. We really enjoyed looking at your pictures, didn't we, Daniel? Did you like seeing David that Marcus drew? Yeah. What else did we see? Uh, posts. Yeah, we saw some, we saw some <laughs> posts. Yep. Uh, um, what other drawings did we see? There was David, ready to fight Goliath. And Jonah and the big fish. And there was the cat in the hat and pi pig. Piglet. Yeah, piglet by Olivia. That was a really good drawing. That was some really close competition. But Daniel chose David, drawn by Marcus. Good hero from the Bible. And um, that was Daniel's favourite one. So that's the one that got picked. And well done to Marcus. Marcus gets to choose a movie for him to watch off YouTube and I'll be in touch with mum and dad and we'll sort out and make sure that happens. Keep listening though because there'll be another competition at the end of today's story. But let's get your storybook shall we and read today's story. Here it comes. Okay. Chapter 1. The Beginning. A Perfect Home. What's that? Um, oh. What is it? It's a birdie. Should we show everyone the birdie? Look, there's a bird on that page and over on this page we've got all sorts of animals and drawings of mountains and fish. And here we go. This is what it says. It's based on Genesis 1 and 2. In the beginning there was nothing. Nothing to hear, nothing to feel, nothing to see. Only emptiness and darkness. And nothing but nothing. But God was there and God had a wonderful plan. I'll take that emptiness, God said, and I'm going to fill it up. Out of the darkness, I'm going to make light. And out of the nothing, I'm going to make everything. Like a mummy bird, fl oh, a bird. Like a mummy bird flutters her wings over her eggs to help her babies hatch. God hovered over the deep, silent My darkness. Baby can. Yeah, that's right. He was making life happen. God spoke. That's all. And whatever he said, it happened. Wow, what a beautiful picture we've got on the next page of creation starting to, to happen. And if you've got this book at home already, maybe you could follow along with, with mum or dad. God said, hello light, and light shone into the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. You're good, God said, and they were. And God said, hello sea, hello sky, and a great space opened up wide and deep and high. You're good, God said, and they were. Then God said, hello land, and there splashing up through the oceans came cliffs and mountains and sandy beaches. You're good, God said, and they were. Hello trees, God said, hello grass and flowers, and everything everywhere burst into life. Yeah, he made buds, bud, shoot, shoot, flowers, flower, you're good, God said, and they were. Flowers, flowers, Yeah, there were flowers, and grass, and trees, and mountains, and hills. God was really powerful. And, and flowers, mower. Fl yeah, I don't know what that word means, but yeah. Flowers, mower. Mower? Do they go in the lawn, mower? Yeah, great power, and the flowers popping up. Look at this page. This one's got planets and stars on it. Because the next thing we read is, God said, hello, stars. Hello, sun. Hello, moon. And whizzing into the darkness came fiery globes spinning around and around, whirling orange and purple and golden planets. You're good, God said. And they were What's on this page? What can you see, Daniel? What's that? 
That is a hippopotamus. Can you say hippopotamus? Hippopotamus. That was 100% perfect. Do you think there might be any hippopotamuses watching the video? Do you want to wave down the camera and say, Hello, hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. Hello, Peter Pottimins. Who's Peter Pottimins? Yeah. Oh, that's him there. There's a picture of Peter Pottimins. He looks quite a lot like a hippopotamus. And there's lots of things on this page. There's tigers and lions, monkeys, a toucan. And uh, what's that? What's that? What is it? Is it a crocodile? Oh, a crocodile. Hello, birds, God said. And with a fluttering and a flapping and a chirping and a singing, birds filled the skies. Hello, fish, God said. And with a darting and a dashing, a wriggling and a splashing, fish filled the seas. You're good, God said. And they were. Then God said, hello, animals. And everyone came out to play. The earth was filled with noisy noises. Growling and gobbling and snapping and snorting and happy scuffluffling. You're good, God said, and they were. What noise does a lion make, Daniel? Roar. Roar. And what noise does a bird make? <coughs> and what noise does an otter make? Let's test you. Yeah, they do go like that. You're good, God said, and they were. God saw that all that he had made was good, and he loved them. And they were lovely because he loved them. But God saved the best for last. From the beginning, God had a shining dream in his heart. He would make people to share his forever happiness. They would be his children, and the world would be their perfect home. And so God breathed life into Adam and Eve. When they opened their eyes, the first thing they ever saw was God's face. And when God saw them, he was like a new dad. You look at me, he said. You're the most beautiful thing I ever made. God loved them with all his heart. And they were lovely because he loved them. And Adam and Eve joined in the song of the stars and the streams and the wind and the trees. The wonderful song of love to the one who made them. Their hearts were filled with happiness. And nothing ever made them sad or lonely or sick or afraid. God looked at everything he had made. Perfect, God said. And it was. But all the stars and the mountains and oceans and galaxies and everything were nothing compared to how much God loved his children. He would move heaven and earth to be near them. Always, whatever happened, whatever it cost him, he would always love them. And so it was that the wonderful love story began. Well, there's some great things to see in our, in our pages and even on this last page, there's some hills and the sun coming over. And, and Adam and Eve are sat there under a tree. And what's sat next to them, Daniel? What is it? A lion. A lion. Don't they need to be afraid of the lion? I want roar. Yeah, because lions go roar and they've got sharp teeth. But Adam and Eve didn't need to be afraid. Because there was nothing to be scared of. Because God had made everything safe and everything and good. Yeah. 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 They didn't need to worry about going in there, did they? If you were the lion, they wouldn't have to worry about going in your mouth. Because nothing was eating anything. It was safe. And they could enjoy being with the lion. Wow! What a great start to the story. Now this week's challenge, what I want you to do is this. Just as we read about God making everything, I want you guys to go out and make something. So in your house or in the garden, wherever mum and dad say, it, it, wherever they say is best, you ask them, I want you to make something. It can be anything you want. You could make a tower, you could build a castle, you could build a fort, you could do a painting or a drawing. You want mummy? We'll go and find mummy very soon, but let's just tell the children what they need to make this week. You can make anything you 
want. You can even just make a big mess if mum and dad say that's okay. But I want you to, to make something, get mum or dad to take a picture of what you've made and send it to the Wyndham Evangelical Church Facebook page. And once again, Daniel is going to pick the winner. Whichever one he thinks is the best is the one that Daniel is going to pick. And that one will again win a YouTube movie of your choice. You get to pick the movie that you watch and we will pay for you to have that movie. You can pick any movie as long as it's on YouTube. So, thank you for tuning in. It's been lovely to see you. And uh, look forward to seeing those entries of things that you've made. Daniel, are you going to come back here and wave and say goodbye to everyone? Goodbye! 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 Goodbye!